The Case of the Missing Goldfish by Robin Kuntz Good morning, Furlock, said Mutson. How are you? I am tired, Furlock said. I stayed up late reading my detective comics. Take a nap, said Mutson. I will answer the telephone if it rings. Soon, the telephone rang. Furlock and Mutson Detective Agency, Mutson said. Aha, uh -huh, I see. We are on our way, Mrs. Bumblebear. Mutson said. What has happened? Furlock asked. Goldie the goldfish is missing. Mutson said. Goldfish? Furlock licked her lips. Stop that, cried Mutson. It is our job to find Goldie, not eat her. Furlock jumped to her feet. Fire up the Furlock mobile. She said. They sped to the house of Mrs. Bumblebear. Mrs. Bumblebear met them at her door. Thank goodness you are here, she said. Don't worry, we will find your goldfish, said Furlock. What does she look like? asked Furlock. She is a goldfish, said Mrs. Bumblebear. Goldfish is gold, Mutson said quietly. He wrote on his notepad. Where did you see her last? Furlock asked. She was in her fishbowl, Mrs. Bumblebear said. She led them to the fishbowl on a small table. Someone spilled water on the table, said Furlock. Water on the table, Mutson said, taking notes. Furlock noticed a cup of water on a chair next to the table. Someone did not finish this water, she said. What does that mean? cried Mrs. Bumblebear. I am not sure, said Furlock. We must look for more clues. Furlock peeked into a doorway next to the chair. Is this the kitchen? she asked. Yes, said Mrs. Bumblebear. Furlock saw a bag of bread, a bag of cookies, and a box of plastic bags. Someone made a sandwich, she said. Mutson nodded. Furlock saw another doorway next to the first. Is that the bathroom? she asked. Yes, said Mrs. Bumblebear. Furlock looked at the fishbowl on the table. She looked at the cup on the chair. Aha, she said. Mutson, poke in the toilet for a goldfish. No way, cried Mutson. If Goldie were in the toilet, we would see her. You are right, said Furlock. Now the case is solved. Oh, said Mutson. Yes, I see. Goldie jumped from her fishbowl to the cup, asked Mrs. Bumblebear. That is correct, said Furlock. And then she jumped from the cup to the toilet? Yes, said Furlock, and I am afraid that someone flushed. Oh dear, oh dear, Mrs. Bumblebear cried. Kippy will be heartbroken. Who is Kippy? asked Mutson. Kippy is my son, said Mrs. Bumblebear. He was so happy this morning, Mrs. Bumblebear said. Today was show and tell. Mutson stared at his notepad. Furlock, I think we have it all wrong, he said. What did I miss? asked Furlock. You did not miss a thing, Mutson said. Do you remember the plastic bags in the kitchen? Yes, said Furlock. Do you remember the cup on the chair? Yes, why? asked Furlock. Mrs. Bumblebear blew her nose on her apron. I think Kippy made more than a sandwich, said Mutson. I think he took Goldie for show and tell. How? Furlock asked. He scooped her from the fishbowl with the cup said Mutson. Then he poured her in a plastic bag. That must be it, said Mrs. Bumblebear. She went to call the school. I hope I am right, said Mutson. It would be then Goldie getting flushed. You mean, you hope we are right, said Furlock. Mrs. Bumblebear came running back. You were right, she said. 
Kippy took Goldie to school for show and tell. Thank you so much. We are happy to help, said Furlock. Would you like some breakfast? asked Mrs. Bumble Bear. That sounds lovely, said Furlock. Can you make tuna fish pancakes? Yuck, cried Mutson. Furlock, we need to go back to the office. We may have another case. Have the bag of honey cookies, said Mrs. Bumble Bear. Thank you very much, said Furlock. She popped a cookie in her mouth. Muthon, on though thou neth ca seth. I am right behind you, said Mutson. They jumped into the Furlock mobile and sped away. The end. I hope you enjoyed this mystery story. See you next time with another wonderful book. Bye.